Oh, no. I'm actually not that good. What's going on, guys? How's everyone doing tonight? Woo! Recently, I joined this new dating website. I don't know if you guys are familiar. It's called JDate. It's a yeah. Jewish web dating website, and I did it because of my mom. I don't know if you guys know anything about Jewish mothers. There's really only one thing they care about. One thing, one thing only. You bring home a nice Jewish girl. It really doesn't matter what you do in life. You could be like the worst person in the world. You could be a murderer, a rapist. For God's sakes, you could be the mastermind of some horrific genocide in Southeast Asia. Let's bring home a nice Jewish girl to your mom, and she'll love you. It's not all that matters that your mom loves you. But anyway, so I joined this website, thinking, you know, maybe I'll meet some nice girls. Looking down the list, most of them are crazy bitches. What are you gonna do? But then I found this one, this one girl that, you know, caught my eye. Her profile, looked at it, and uh, she said that she wanted to go to Africa and help out. And I'm thinking, you know, that's wonderful. Until I looked at, I looked more carefully, and I saw that she was from Long Island. And I thought to myself, wait a minute, she's from Long Island? What kind of practical skills does she have? What is she gonna do? Open up a tanning salon in Africa? Come on. They really need that, I don't know if you know. But, uh, I do too, I'm from Long Island as well. But, uh, I don't know about you guys, but if I was living in Sudan, I don't know if you guys know, there's a huge, ge terrible genocide going on over there. If I was, if I was an African living over there, and you know, my sister had malaria, I had typhoid fever, my next door neighbor is getting her, her arms chopped off. The last thing I'd want to hear is this. Oh my god, it's like so hot. Where can I get a bagel? I really, I don't know much of life. The only thing I do know is that girls are crazy. That's all I know. I'll tell you this one thing. I, I met this girl you know, a few weeks back in class. We hit it off immediately. So I asked her if she wanted to come back to my apartment, and of course she did. So we were, we were talking, talking about the meaning of life, everything, the meaning of life, I figured it out, talking about religion, talking about philosophy, metaphysics, everything. And then all of a sudden, she looks at me with this glazed over look in her eyes, said, John, I want you to kiss me in a place where it smells. So of course, I took her to the rat. I, I love downtown. I mean, like I said, I'm a Long Island Jew. It's like heaven. Well, all right. I love it. It's not literally heaven. Can you imagine if it was? That would be a bit of a disappointment. You live your whole life, you know, you do good deeds, and you're expecting to, you know, be up in the sky, in the clouds, talking to God, having thoughtful conversations. Nope. You're grinding some drunk girl from the chemistry class for all eternity. But no, I, I digress. I, I love DT. I mean, it's great. I, I love dancing. I love getting my groove on. This is how I dance. And, uh, my problem is, after a while, you know, I, I get bored. I get bored. I mean, there's only so long I can do this for. So, I always fall back on what I know, and that's politics. And it's not, not the best idea to talk politics to a girl, let me tell you. I remember this one time I was dancing with this girl at the Rat. You know, and I was getting bored, so I said this. Like, hey, how do you feel about abortion? <laughs> what? All right. You know, you're dancing with me, so obviously you're ridiculously intoxicated. <laughs> I've just had 10 tasty Keystone Lights, and I've devoured a whole scorpion bowl. <laughs> it's very likely that we're going to make a huge, huge mistake. So let's say, you know, I knock you up. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? And then she stopped dancing. She smacked me in the face. She said, John, you're a disgusting, vile human being. You actually enjoy Keystone Light? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it takes a lot of hard work to look this damn good. Especially for me. I mean, I got royally screwed over by God. I'm convinced that he was pretty damn drunk when he created me. I mean, I'm one hairy dude. Yeah. <laughs> The one place that I want to keep my hair, I'm almost guaranteed to lose it based on genetics. It's, it's ridiculous. I had, no joke. I had facial hair. I was growing facial hair in the second grade. While kids were literally, literally crapping their pants in class. I was on the verge of growing this. And I know you, you girls say you like mature guys. I really should have taken advantage of that. I probably could have gotten some major ass back in the second grade. Really terror the reason I did though, the reason why I didn't pursue it, I was terrified. I heard about this really 
really horrific disease. I don't know if you guys remember the cooties. It was I've heard it's worse than SARS. But luckily they had uh, they had, they had a, you know, a vaccine for it, which I got. It's called the cootie shot. Like circle, circle, dot, dot. I got that. The problem with that is that it gives you a false sense of security. You know, you feel like, you know, I can do anything. I don't have to worry about diseases. You can go downtown, do whatever. I remember one time I was drunk, I brought this girl back. And, you know, we're in bed, and she's like, wait a minute, John. Shouldn't you put a condom on before we do this? I'm like, no, no, baby, don't worry. I got a cootie shot. <laughs> 